Hey everybody and welcome to Let's Look at Dollar Dash. You know, with a lot of big releases coming out this week, SimCity, Tomb Raider, even the showdown effects, stuff like that, uh, there's the potential for a lot of small releases to kind of get lost in the crowd. Whether or not that is the publisher's intention is really the question that I'm struggling with today because I am playing Dollar Dash, uh, a multiplayer focused, basically Mario Party minigame that has been expanded into a, uh, a full game. This feels very much like a $20 game that might have existed in the last generation of consoles, like optimized for Xbox Live Play. Anyway, this is available on Steam. Uh, as well as Xbox Live Arcade. I'm not sure about PSN, actually. I think it's only on those two platforms. Uh, I've only played about 40 minutes of this so far, but I played it local multiplayer uh, with Kate, actually. We had a reasonable amount of fun, but I think this is going to be a game that's going to be a tough sell for a lot of people this week, uh, especially if you're going to be single-player focused. And I imagine this is not going to have the most substantial online community. But in any case, uh, let's just play a local game first so we can explain what's up. Basically, there is no single-player campaign here. This is kind of like... The poor man's antagonistic version of Monaco, if that makes any sense. We're playing as a bank robber, uh, and we have three different modes here. Collect money and secure it in the getaway vehicle. This is a mode that will seem very familiar to people once we get into it. Hit and run, which is deathmatch, uh, and it doesn't really strike my fancy all that much. And save the safe, which is a mode where basically it's almost like a oddball from Halo, I guess, where there's like a safe, you have to hold on to the safe for as long as possible, and you get more money, the score the longer you hold on to it. Anyway, we're gonna play Dollar Dash because this is the main game mode. Uh, I'm Northern Lion, as you can see here, we have no upgrades and no perks. We could eventually uh, upgrade ourselves, I guess, using the money that we earn in the levels. But I'm just gonna ready up here, and I love that it has the spinning disc down there in the bottom. Pretty quickly, we're gonna understand what's going on here. So we're collecting money, we're also collecting power-ups. I'm the red guy here. Now, I'm using the Xbox 360 controller. Uh, we're gonna come across a variety of weapons and power-ups, and basically, we're just gonna duke it out with our enemies here in order to try to collect as much cash as possible. And if you're not liking what you're seeing right now, uh, I'm gonna say that you are probably not gonna be a fan of Dollar Dash in general, and this does feel like kind of a woefully under-featured game. Uh, Underfeatured, not that it's like underrated, underfeatured in the sense that it doesn't really feel like this game necessarily has enough to be considered a standalone release. So, basically, what we're doing, I'm just running around picking up these power ups here. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of that Diddy Kong racing mode where you had to collect like dragon's eggs. Hopefully, someone out there remembers what I'm talking about. But, right, it, there's basically like two phases in the Dollar Dash mode there's the phases where we beat the shit out of one another to try to get as much cash as possible, and then there's the phase where the truck actually appears, and when the truck appears, we take our carried money to the truck and try to deposit it uh, in order to uh, gain some cash, which will be indicated by that score bar at the top. So I'm the red dude. I'm getting, uh, I'm doing okay, I guess. The orange guy is going to beat me. And the AI, actually, in some of these modes is pretty awesome, but in my experience, in some of them is absolutely horrible as well. Especially, like, in the deathmatch mode, which I don't even play anymore uh, because it seems basically like a waste of my time to be playing deathmatch in a game like this when there's kind of a, a more intended, I guess, to be definitive mode. Uh, but, you know, one thing I've really struggled with this game a lot so far uh, is, is that I kind of don't see any reason to play it, if that makes any sense. Like, we're looking at pretty much the, the whole game right here. And when I first played it, don't get me wrong, when I played it local, it was reasonably fun. Uh, oh, come on. Just, oh, the fireworks bounce. I totally forgot about that. Uh, when I played it local multiplayer with Kate, it was reasonably fun, but that's just because you're, you know, standing right next to the person and you can get angry at them uh, if, if they cause you to have some problems because they're, like, right in your face. Uh, playing against the computer appeals to me approximately 0%, especially with a game that feels kind of like a, an extremely dated... It feels like a time capsule, almost, uh, of game design in, like, 1998 or something. Just run. Oh, my God. And the truck appears so rarely. Uh, maybe I can get lucky and manage to throw this rock. Uh, that's gonna get us a lot of money, but again, doesn't really matter if we have all this money to start with, because, um, all that matters is who has the money when the truck actually appears, and it appears that the truck does not show up very goddamn often, which can be really annoying. By the way, uh, I should point out, the more money you get, the slower you move. But that is kind of neither here nor there. So, in terms of the power-ups, you know, there, there's like three different kinds. There's power-ups, traps, uh, and also weapons. I am lo looking like I'm going to win this game pretty handily. I'm almost at the top already. Maybe the AI is uh, not as good as I thought it was, you know, the first couple of times I played it. We're probably about like 500, 600 away from finishing. Uh, but yeah, the, the green things that we see here, these are traps. So we can set down traps by using uh, the B button on our Xbox 360 controller. I guess I didn't get to that truck in time. 
Um, we pick up weapons as well. We, we fire those with the right trigger after aiming with the right analog stick. And we also get power-ups. And the way you use those power-ups is by pressing the X button. As you just saw, I got that extra health around me. This guy's going to pick up these cacti, which are going to be annoying as hell. Uh, the, the traps, you know, that's like the bear traps. You might have seen an oil slick as well. Uh, you know, I can press X and use my special ability here. I can place bombs around. Uh, but it's very, very shallow. I mean, this is... Oh, that was a bad bear trap to walk into. Uh, not only is it shallow, though, but it's also kind of... Again, like, what I would struggle with this is, is this a bad game? Maybe a little? It's more just a game that kind of baffles me with its existence, where I'm like, is there really... There was a developer that got excited about this, or a publisher that was like, yeah, we absolutely have to make sure this game gets made. It's rare for me to, to s kind of shit on a game uh, these days, because, I, you know, I, I have respect for developers. But this is a weird situation where, with this game, I'm like, this is woefully inadequate compared to, um, you know, what you're normally getting at this price range on Steam and Xbox Live Arcade. Uh, you know, if people were mad about, perhaps, Nazi zombie armies being a little repetitive and, and lacking depth, well, you have not seen anything yet until you've played 45 minutes of uh, Dollar Dash. But in any case, we're just going to continue on and win this game. I, I would be remiss if I didn't at least check on the uh, online community in this game, because if it's got a bumping online community, that could add a lot of replay value to this game. But playing against the AI, as you can probably tell from the tone of my voice and how excited I, I don't sound, uh, that I, I think from a single player perspective, this is pretty goddamn awful. So we're about to win, apparently. Although, no, now we're out of money, so I'm not about to win. But if I can get some cash off this dude... Okay, we're probably about $100 away from winning, and each one of these cash bundles is 100 bucks. So if we could just get one more to the truck, we should be a-okay. I'm just placing my bombs around. Some weapons are decidedly better than others. Do, do you not see what I'm saying, though, when I say that uh, th this looks a lot like a Mario Party minigame? Or I guess in the modern age, it looks more like a Nintendo Land minigame, uh, which has been extrapolated upon and turned into a full version that is now releasing for, you know, not an insignificant sum of money in this day and age. I guess I walked over an oil slick because I'm walking around all crazy. I mean, the power-ups are not super inventive. You're dealing with things like oil slicks and, you know, bombs, bear traps. I guess bear traps are sort of unique, but also sort of not really. Uh, there we go. I win the game. I am the champion of Dollar Dash. Not much reason to play this game single player is basically what I'm getting at. So I'm Street Thug Northern Lion, which, uh, don't judge me, game. I don't judge you. Actually, you know, feel free to judge me, game, because I, I guess I am judging you quite harshly. So I've amassed a decent amount of money. Um, with this money, we can actually upgrade our character to make him, like, definitively better. So things like uh, immune to your own cactuses, increases taser range, increases boulder speed. These are all upgrades for our weapons. So those are effective. Uh, we also have perks like you can carry more money in your bag. You're more resistant to fire damage. Those are valuable. Uh, we can get taunts. We can get icons, which seems like a total waste of money to me. New dances, which, you know, I guess in the loosest sense of the word, maybe that is a dance. How about this one? I'm going to pay $3,000 for that. Unlikely. We can get a beard face. It's beard for say. Um, you know, glasses, Jason mask, uh, hats, and whatnot. Uh, doesn't really appeal to me all that much. You know, if you want to get crazy character customization this week, I would probably go with something like the Showdown Effect, which is actually a, you know, excellent multiplayer game in its own right, as opposed to something like this, which is derivative and not all that fun, in my opinion. Uh, you know, let's buy our boulder upgrade. Maybe that'll increase our boulder speed. That's important. Uh, otherwise, we are basically... We're out of money, but then we have these stars. I actually don't know. I guess you use the stars to buy the dances. Uh, it's a little weird to me. But in any case, there's downloadable content, but I don't think there's any available right now. Let's check and see if there's a, a match online. Maybe we can just search for a quick match of Dollar Dash. And it looks like I actually... Well, just me. Uh, yes, I will go with Boulder Plus. Uh, you know, there's a variety of maps in the game, and one thing I will say that's kind of cool about the game is that you can have a, a Super Smash Brothers style, like, custom weapon set if you so choose. So, let's say, you know, you, you think that boulders are all of a sudden not all that fun, or, you know, bear traps are annoying you. Uh, you could, you could adjust this as you see fit. It doesn't necessarily have rule sets, like, you know, one-hit kill, insta-jib, stuff like that. Uh, but, it, you know, if you wanted to, you could play, like, pure snowball fight or something like that. Uh, and maybe that would be fun, but it's super shitty that appears there's nobody online right now. I also love the disc spinning icon, which makes me think that maybe this game was in development as like a disc based game in 2008, and then something went horribly, horribly wrong, and they're like, fuck it, just release the code on Steam and Xbox Live Arcade, it's good enough. We'll recoup some of our investment. Um, 
I think this will open the Steam browser, so I don't want to click on that necessarily right now. Let's check out the leaderboards. Maybe this will tell us how many people are playing this game right now. Apparently, I'm 10th in the world, and uh, there's total entries 62. This is very strange for me. It's like a fucking ghost town, man. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got people on there right now. So, uh, there's 62 people that have played Dollar Dash. I am apparently in 10th place overall with about a half hour of play. I'm catching up I, in one more episode, or sorry, one more game. I could probably pass the Dollar Dash Steam account. Uh, so it's a little bit probably telling about the state of the online community in this game. Uh, that this has been, you know, pre-release for a while and, you know, press has had access for a while. I, I used air quotes when I said press because I don't necessarily consider myself press. But, uh, you know, I've had access to this game for like a week. And now that it is officially out, there's only about 62 people playing it. But if you want to look on the bright side, I'm pretty sure even if this game has always online DRM, which I guess it sort of does via Steam, servers are probably not going to be super crowded, so you shouldn't have crazy queue times, although you will have crazy queue times uh, just to find a match, apparently. Let's again just look for a quick match of Dollar Dash, and we're just going to create our own. So, I mean, it's a very short video so far. Let's create an, um, oh, I didn't mean to do this. No, now we can at least see a server list. Maybe someone's, oh my god, somebody's playing. Dollar, it's Dollar Dash. Oh, now I feel bad because I was saying bad things about them. Do we have open mic here? I certainly hope not. Let's view our settings here. I don't think we do, so that's good. Uh, I guess I'll roll no upgrade because these guys are also rolling no upgrade and we'll ready up. This is a little embarrassing for me to be saying such negative things about the game while the developer is actually in our game right now. Uh, but it's okay, we'll get a chance to see the online mode here, which is kind of cool. I'm pretty sure this is the uh, just pure deathmatch mode, which is actually like the, the weakest mode uh, that I've experienced so far. I have no idea what this bird does. Uh, let's actually try, I've got like Ipecac here uh, with poison shots as you can see. I'm gonna see if I could beat the developers, that would be... Uh, awesome for me. I think they're the green ones. They were wearing like that uh, Ben Franklin hat. Oh, that's not a Ben Franklin hat at all. Just one more hit might be enough. Yes, there's 500 gold for us. I think you get more gold depending on what... They're blue, okay. Depending on what um, weapon you actually hit them with. So, you know, I'm thinking the Dollar Dash guys are probably going to have a distinct advantage. Let's pick up this fire extinguisher. Oh, I like the fire extinguisher as a weapon, actually. Although I did just get killed. I'm somehow still in first place, which strikes me as a little bit crazy. Let's create some fire. Did I kill that dude? It looked like I killed that dude. And the fire extinguisher is basically like using a flamethrower in any other game. It's easy enough to, to take enemies out. And I can turn invisible sometimes. And by doing so, hopefully my game will not freeze. Did I kill somebody there? I don't. A lot of the time when I play this game, I don't know how I'm doing kind of well, but I, I have like a 100% undefeated streak against Kate. So apparently maybe I'm just the, the king of Diner Dash. At least that's my expectation so far. Can we actually kill the Diner Dashers? We can put some fire around them. That's going to piss them off at least. Oh, that was a good hit. One more maybe? Several more? Alright, I hit myself with the fireworks, which is something that can, can indeed happen. Um, I don't even know where I am anymore. I'm the footsteps. Okay, there we go. I am the one who knocks. I don't even know. Come at me, Diner Dash developers. Step into my... Yeah, hit yourself. Step into my bear trap. And go fuck yourself. He's so effing dead. There we go. We got $500 for killing the Diner Dash developers. Feels good, man. Let's strap him in the corner and do it again. Oh. I'm not gonna lie. It feels kind of good. I just blew myself up with that explosive barrel, apparently. I really like the fire extinguisher weapon. It seems to work pretty, pretty quickly. Oh, he's gonna get me with those cactuses. In all likelihood, punch him to death. Punch him to death. He's not going to be able to hit me because, oh, turn invisible and then run away. Get this. We got the jello. I can get the bear traps. And maybe we can get lucky just setting some bear traps around me to do some damage to these guys. Um, I just, like, the punch seems super ineffective to the other weapons, which is probably by design. Come at me, Diner Dash devs. I got another 500 bucks. I'm probably one of the greatest Diner Dash players in the world. That's what I have to say about that. So I've turned invisible. I've healed myself. And now the Diner Dash developers are going to see the what true pain feels like. If I can just get like two more punches. Ah, oh, I didn't get that one, unfortunately. But that's okay. It's, it's me and Red, believe it or not. That might not even be the Diner Dash developers. It might be like the community managers or something. But it makes me feel better to think that it is the developers. Okay. Now I lost a lot from that somehow. Uh, 
Maybe we can focus on... We should f Diner Dash is in last. Why am I... I keep saying Diner Dash. That's actually embarrassing. Dollar Dash. But, you know, it's obviously a name that is very similar. Uh, although the games are totally different. Uh, so let's get our Jello going here. I stepped on a bear trap, but since I'm covered in Jello, I think I'm safe. And these fireworks just kind of bounce around, so if we just spam them down here, we might get lucky. Looks like two more kills is all it's going to take. I lost a hundred, because I think I shot that barrel. I mean, the mechanics seem... Oh, man, green just gained a thousand bucks. It's like a double kill or something. Maybe we can get lucky with a, one of these poison shots. Maps are pretty un uninspired. I mean, like, you know, we're, we're dealing with your standard, like, airport hangers and stuff like that, apparently. Industrial areas. Red is very close to a victory. And that worries me. Maybe he's got some kind of insane strategy that I'm not familiar with. Uh, and that's why he's totally owning face right now. Oh, the cactus, don't let yourself be the final kill. That's right, take yourself out of the equation when things get rough. That boulder is going to be an issue if I get hit by that, but luckily I didn't. We have more cacti. And if the Dollar Dash developer gets in my grill, I will just fuck him like so. Apparently he's just going to chase me over those bear traps. Bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see how it works out. Um, I don't know what some of these power-ups actually are, to be honest with you. But he's glowing gold like a god, which worries me a little bit. He managed to kill himself. Smart move, taking himself out of the equation, I guess. And uh, green is about to win, actually. So if I can kill him, I'm going to feel very good about that. I don't know. Uh, I guess that's what the glowing shit means. It means he's about to win. Uh, but now I'm about to win as well. Someone won. Did I kill myself? Did I win? I won? No. I came in third. I wasn't even close. I didn't re I forgot that I was brown. Associate Dollar Dash with about one-fifth of what you need to win. Alright, so I'd say that's, uh, you know, as comprehensive a look as is necessary. Um, for Dollar Dash, there's, it's multiplayer focused. There is a single player mode, but it's not a traditional campaign by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, it is instead like a, you know, you can play against bots basically in a, in a local match. Uh, which is not all that engaging to be honest with you. And the fact that there's basically no online community, uh, right now at least, maybe eventually it'll get it. But uh, the fact that it, it's so kind of dry right now and, and there's not that many people playing it is a little bit worrying, I would say, for the state of this game. Uh, Dollar Dash is one of those games that I would absolutely only recommend if you have, uh, you know, some people that you want to play with personally, like some some couch co-op, basically, or adversarial couch co-op, I guess, which is just known as local multiplayer in the circles that I run in. Uh, it's available on Xbox Live and uh, PC via Steam as well. You know, it's a tough sell. I, I definitely would not recommend it. I believe that it is going for uh, $15, but it might be $10 if I am mistaken. In any case, with that money, there's a lot of other stuff that you could absolutely, uh, you know, probably invest it in and get a lot more rewards out of. It's not absolutely horrible it's not broken it, it works it's just not all that fun unfortunately and unfortunately uh you know for the developers and publisher that's not going to be nearly enough to guarantee many sales at least as a result of this video i don't know as always i encourage you whenever i shit on a game sort of uh unofficially anyway uh to go check out other reviews to see if i am just crazy or misunderstanding but in any case as always thank you guys for watching this has been dollar dash and i will see you next time